I want to let you know one thing. You have not missed it. And God told Joel, I want you to go to that city. And I want you to preach the gospel. I want you to tell them that I will forgive them if they repent of their sins. Not only did he go preach, he went preaching under the power of the Holy Ghost. He went preaching under the anointing of the Holy Ghost. He went preaching under the authority of the government of, of God. He went preaching with supernatural might and power. He went to Nineveh preaching with no, no fear of death, no fear of germs, no fear of any virus, no fear of nothing contaminating him. He went there to preach the word of God. And that's what we are doing right now. So he went there to preach. And guess what? They repented of their sins. See, God wants to forgive God wants to forget God God wants to give you a reset you heard that you've been hearing that word reset a whole bunch of times but it's the real McCoy It's the real deal God at this moment in history of time wants to give each and every one of us a fresh brand new start that's why probably you know you have seen so many things shaken uh-huh anything that can be shaken will be shaken i remember when dr morris cirillo said that well anything that can be shaken will be shaken we have seen political systems shaken we have seen economy we have seen economies shaken we have seen the world of sports shaken we have seen aha uh aha -huh, uh -huh, uh, even the body of christ because judgment begins in the house of god shaken and many of the idols that were there with with huge humongous mega ministries they have been shaken they have fallen they have been separated they have been found out because anything that is corrupt will be found out that is my prayer the political system is being shaken and my prayer is that anything that is corrupt whether democrat or, or republican or other i pray that anything that is corrupt is found out because god is a god of justice anything that can be shaken will be shaken and I pray that anything that is holy and noble and just and upright that it will flourish and I know that you're in agreement with, the, with me with this type of prayer because if you're not I think you need some help you know I mean we want corruption to be busted up we want corruption to be found out we want everything that is wicked and illegal to be found out we want anything that is not right to be found out but at the same time we want everything that is good everything that makes families happy everything that makes children happy anything that is upright may it flourish in the name of Jesus Halabaso. glory to God so he went to preach and he and the love of God which is way beyond our understanding you know because if it was for some people some you know some people judge so much that they would say well what am I, I wish that guy was dead I hate that guy I don't like that guy I don't like the way he talks sometimes he curses I don't like the way he dresses I just don't like the way he looks and we're out there just judge 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 but we don't look at the spoke in our own eye halalabaso we are blind for our from our own own iniquities but when we start working and walking in the love of God we will look at other people and you say you know what <laughs> that person deserves forgiveness that nation deserves forgiveness that continent deserves forgiveness anyone that comes to the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and from their heart bows they deserve forgiveness. Babaso, la 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 baso, la la ba babaso. Yes, right now I just I just sense that some of us, some of us has to just release, you know, unforgiveness. You know, uh -huh. you know, you need to forgive other people just like God has forgiven you of all your sins, of all your iniquity, of all your wrongdoing. And sometimes that is what's holding back your potential because there is something in your heart that you do not want to surrender. You just want to hold on to unforgiveness. Yes, you go to church. Yes, you raise your hands. Yes, you speak the word. Yes, you have a dimension of love of God. But you know what? Jesus said, if you don't forgive your brother, how can I forgive you? Now, this preaching is for all of us. So, you know, I just sense that. And, and just as we enter the, this, this last month, end this month, entering next month, release unforgiveness. Set the captive free. Set yourself free. You know, sometimes we have to forgive ourselves. Sometimes we have to look in the mirror and, and just, you know, say, I messed up again. But you know what? I forgive myself. Sometimes I know I do it. Huh? Well, sometimes we just have to forgive ourselves. Uh-huh. 
Yes, 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 yes. Let not the foot of pride come against you. Sometimes we just have to forgive ourselves. No, none of us know all that. All of us need to learn and all of us are trying to live on. All of us want to be happy. All of us want to have a happy family or good friends and good relationships. But as we follow the Lord Jesus, I just sense right now that as we enter December, you could have a great time. You could have a great time if you are totally set free in your heart. Release any unforgiveness from your heart. And that is the love of God. God loves us so much that He would even remind us. He would even remind us. And I just pray that you will close your eyes right now. Yes, this is uncommon. I usually don't stop in the middle and, and do this. But I sense right now, I sense right now just that the Holy Ghost will be a lamp unto your spirit. A lamp unto your heart. Let the Holy Ghost reveal to you anyone that should be forgiven in your life. And I'm just asking you to just obey God and, and make that phone call that may be very dangerous. I'm not very, da yeah, well, very hard to do. That's what I wanted to say. Very hard to do. And, and when you pray and you're by yourself with God and you kneel before your maker or, or, what, or sit or whatever, you as you look, just say, God, I forgive this and say their name. Say their name. Say their name. God, I forgive this person. They hurt me so badly. I forgive these people. You know, whatever the situation is, don't enter, don't enter, don't leave, don't enter this month without having your, your heart cleaned by the blood of Jesus. Because God loves you so much that nothing will separate us from the love of God. But guess what? God loves the other person so much too. You know, and God does not want person, does not want anyone to go to hell because of unforgiveness. So if God shows us somebody we need to forgive, we have to forgive. Maybe you cannot get a hold of that person via telephone or mail or text or email or whatever situation. But in your heart, in your heart, if you look upon the name, if you call upon the name of Jesus and you just forgive those people, just God will receive it. If it's from your heart and you will be, you will be setting yourself free. I want to continue. Verse 37 of Romans says, Yet in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. Okay? We are, God calls us more than conquerors through God the Father who loved us. See, it is the love of God that makes us conquerors. It is the love of God that brings joy to our heart in difficult situations and we overcome those situations. It is the love of God, uh huh. It is the love of God, whether it's distress, tribulation, persecution, famine, nakedness, peril, or sword, or whatever situation. We are more than conquerors because the love of God is upon our hearts and it has, the love has been shed abroad in our hearts that we face every situation in a position of love and when we face every situation in a position of love therefore <laughs> we are conquering that situation because love cast out all fear perfect love cast out all fear see that's what the love of God is about he does not want you to have one degree of fear in any situation Yet, in all these things, including coronavirus, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through Him who loved us. So we, He's talking to us, the people of God. Uh, you may be brand new in the Lord. You may have been following the Lord for 50 years. We is all of us, from the newborn to the aged. We are are more than conquerors through Him that loved us. So that's, once you know that you are loved by God, once you know that He forgives you of everything, you know, when situations arise, you just extend that love to other people. You know, it has been a very unusual year. But the, I have seen the love of God in so many areas in my life. You know, He has given me hope. He has given me a future. He has uh, uh, given me a clear vision of, of my, my, my destiny and purpose from this age bracket on. 